All right, let's get right into it. Today, we're talking about a 2017 paper called Attention is All You Need. And look, this isn't just any paper. You could argue it's one of the most important papers in the entire history of AI. It's the foundational text, the actual blueprint for pretty much every large language model that's blowing our minds today. I mean, you've probably asked yourself this question, right? The jump in what these things can do over the last few years, it feels like magic. But a huge part of the answer, the real secret sauce, is tucked away inside one revolutionary idea from this very paper. Okay, so let's dive in. To really get why this was such a huge deal, we first have to understand the problem they were trying to solve. Before this paper, AI was kind of stuck. It was stuck in what you might call the sequential bottleneck, a really fundamental limit on how computers could process language. So before 2017, the top of the line models were these things called recurrent neural networks, or RNNs for short. And just like the name says, they worked sequentially. Think about how you read a sentence. You read the first word, then the second, then the third, in a very strict order, and you carry the meaning along with you. That's exactly how an RNN worked. But, you know, this one word at a time approach had some major, major drawbacks. The paper itself calls it inherently sequential, which basically means you can't do things at the same time. You can't parallelize it. So first off, it was just slow. But maybe even more important, it was forgetful. It really struggled to connect words that were far apart. If a word at the end of a long paragraph needed context from the very beginning, an RNN would often just lose the thread. That connection was gone. So to put it another way, the old way was like watching dominoes fall, one after another in a long line. The goal, the dream, was to find a way to see all the dominoes at once, to get all their relationships instantly, all in parallel. And that, right there, brings us to the breakthrough. The solution proposed in this 2017 paper from a team at Google with a title that sounds so deceptively simple. The authors just laid it all out there, right in the abstract. They proposed this thing called the transformer, a whole new architecture that just completely tossed out the old sequential method. No more one-at-a-time processing. Instead, it was going to be built entirely on a mechanism called attention. And this wasn't just some vague idea. It was a real paper published by researchers from Google and the University of Toronto, and it was presented at the NIPS conference, which is, you know, a huge deal in AI research. This was basically the starting pistol for the modern AI race we're in today. So what in the world is this attention that was suddenly all we needed? Let's break down the core idea, which the paper calls self-attention. It's brilliant. Okay, so at its heart, self-attention is what lets the model look at an entire sentence all at once. And for any single word, it can figure out how important all the other words in the sentence are for understanding its specific meaning, right there in that context. So how's it actually do that? Well, the paper talks about three things, queries, keys, and values. Let's use a little analogy to make it clear. Take this sentence. The robot picked up the ball because it was heavy. To understand the word it, the model first creates what's called a query. It's basically asking a question. Hey, what does this it refer to? Okay, next up, for every single word in that sentence, robot, ball, all of them, the model creates a key. Think of a key like a label or a signpost that says what the word's role is. Then the model takes its query for the word it and compares it to the key for every other word, and it calculates a score. In our example, the key for ball would get a really, really high score. And finally, each word also has a value, which is its actual meaning, its substance. The model uses those relevant scores from the last step like a volume knob. It cranks up the value for ball and turns the volume way down for the other words. And what you get is a brand new, context-rich version of the word it, one that now knows without a doubt that it refers to the heavy ball. Now, this self-attention trick is the absolute core, the main building block. But the authors didn't just stop there. They used this amazing concept to build out the entire transformer architecture. Let's see how they did it. The researchers figured out pretty quickly that asking just one question about a word's context, well, it wasn't going to be enough. So they invented what they called multi-head attention. The paper says it allows the model to jointly attend to information from different representation subspaces. What does that mean in practice? Well, in the original transformer model, they used eight of these attention heads, all working in parallel. Just think of it like having eight different experts all looking at the same sentence at the same time. One expert might be looking for who did what to whom, 
another might focus on grammar, a third on pronoun references. All together, they build this incredibly rich, multi-layered understanding of the text. It's genius. Okay, hold on a second. If we're looking at all the words at once, we've just created a new problem, right? We've totally thrown out the word order. So how on earth does the model know that the dog chased the cat is any different from the cat chased the dog? That's kind of important. The solution they came up with was just beautiful and very mathematical. The paper explains they add something called positional encodings to the input. They use this really clever mix of sine and cosine waves to create a unique signal for every single position in the sequence. It's like stamping each word with its own unique GPS coordinate, so the model always knows where it is. Is it the first word, the second, the tenth, and so on? So you put all those pieces together, the parallel self-attention, the multiple attention heads, and the positional encodings to keep the order straight, and you've got the transformer. But the result wasn't just some clever new model. It was the key that unlocked an entirely new era for AI. Let's just look at the proof, straight from table one in the paper. The key thing here is the maximum path length. Basically, how many steps does it take for information to get from one word to another? For the old RNNs, it grows with the sentence length. But for self-attention, it's O of 1, a constant. It takes the exact same single step to connect the very first word to the very last word as it does to connect two words right next to each other. That, that is a monumental leap in efficiency, a total game changer. And this crazy new efficiency wasn't just about making things faster. This parallel processing is what made it possible to train models on the absolutely colossal, internet-sized data sets they needed to learn the complex stuff we see today. But even back in 2017, the transformer proved it wasn't just faster, it was also flat out better at the big language task of the day, machine translation. So on a standard test for machine translation, a benchmark from 2014, the transformer hit a new state-of-the-art score for translation quality, what's called a blue score of 28.4. Now that number, 28.4, might not sound super dramatic by itself, but the paper points out it smashed the existing best results by over two blue. In this world, an improvement of two whole points from a single new architecture was just unheard of. The transformer didn't just take one step forward, it took a giant leap over the entire field. So when you boil it all down, this paper didn't just build a slightly better translation model. No, it gave us a completely new blueprint for how machines can understand language period. It's the direct ancestor, the DNA of models like GPT-4, Gemini, you name it, all the big models changing our world. Which really leaves us with a huge question, doesn't it? If this is what happened when we figured out that attention is all we need, what on earth comes next? <laughs>